Hey, remember Zone of the Enders? Uh, of course you don't. That's why we haven't seen a sequel in like 10 years. But that works out. The Zone of the Enders HD Collection is your second chance to experience two of the most underrated action games from the PS2 era. One of them is significantly better than the other, as longtime fans remember, but there is enough interesting ideas in both to justify replaying these re-releases, whether you're new to this series or a lucky longtime fan. A program to bring out the full performance of JOD. That depends on the skill of the runner. So, it's HD. Awesome! That means sharper textures and a higher resolution for both Zone of the Enders and its sequel, The Second Runner. Both games have a higher frame rate than their original versions, but they're still a bit choppy when your robot's launching 20 missiles at 20 robots shooting 20 lasers. More importantly, the awesome anime-inspired art holds up 10 years later. Both games have their unique style, cool mech designs, and flashy special effects and pretty explosions. But here's how they each break down. The original game's CG cutscenes look really rough by today's standards, and the lame story has a lot of insufferable annoying kids and terrible voice acting. Don't hesitate to skip the cutscenes, and keep your phone nearby so you have something to do during those crazy long load times. The second runner has a bit more slowdown because there's so much more going on. It's spectacularly chaotic. The environments where you shred enemy robots have more distinct looks in this sequel, thanks in large part to the varied use of color. The opening battle in a bluey-white mountain canyon looks totally different than the dark, industrial interior that follows it. Story doesn't amount to much here either, but the characters are at least a little bit cool, the VO is way improved, and the world is better realized. If anything happens to my pals at Callisto, you'll pay. Really, when you play Zone of the Enders HD Collection, you're buying it for the second runner. If you like the original game, so much the better. But that'll take a whole lot of love. Enemy backup force is approaching our location. Enemy backup force. The first Zone of the Enders has a lot of great ideas. It was ambitious for the time, but it only achieves half of what it strived for. Exploring a semi-open world means flying between very similar looking areas, fighting very similar waves of very similar enemies. Variety is not exactly this game's strong suit, and a ton of backtracking, like way too much backtracking, is mostly responsible for that. That's really unfortunate, because it means you have a bunch of boring encounters tied to a pretty exciting combat system. You'll take on two to four enemies as you fly around in a Big Mac, slashing with a sword, and launching missiles. Complexity comes in layers, since Zone of the Enders is simple on the surface. Combining air dashes to evade an incoming barrage while cutting down a group with a circular sword swing feels great. Backflipping out of the way of a boss's laser and chucking a charged shot before unleashing a melee combo does too. No matter how good it feels to fight though, it's always under similar circumstances, so the repetitive grind sinks in fast. Zone of the Enders 2 repairs this. You fight more guys, so you have to make better use of the 3D space around you. You'll constantly boost forward, charge toward the ground, back up while firing shots, and warp around the battlefield to crush your foes. Boss battles are more involving too, forcing you to make use of the environment around you to get it done. Ripping beams from destroyed structures to impale an enemy you can't keep up with changes the flow of the fight, and slicing through a teleporting boss later presents problems as well. From top to bottom, the second runner is the superior game here. Borderline excellent despite its age. It's fast as all get out, constantly changing so you're forced to adapt, and creating interesting and new combat scenarios that make you want to stick with it, rather than throw in the towel like it's disappointing original. On, now. On my last mission, you sacrificed us. Even though Zone of the Enders is a skippable, rough game, its sequel is totally worth experiencing. All these years later, it's as fun and satisfying and crazy as it ever was. As HD collections go, this is one of the best opportunities you'll have to get in on a series that totally deserves a new sequel. And as an added bonus, you'll get a Metal Gear Rising Revengeance demo for your trouble. For all things Zone of the Enders, and Metal Gear Rising, keep it locked to IGN.